Good morning. Uh, today I want to talk about organizational health, but before that I want to talk about flowers. We all know the saying, uh, take time to smell the roses or stop and smell the roses, however it goes, but really, I'm serious here, stop and smell the flowers. The world is full of amazing, beautiful flowers, both figuratively and literally, but most days we just walk right past them. And here's where it gets trippy. A human being is not the experience that we're all having right now. What we are is the memories that we bring along with us. And the most amazing part is you get to decide what those memories are. So make sure that those memories include the smell of jasmine flowers. So let's talk about organizational health. What does it take for a startup to ensure that it can grow and exist in a healthy fashion? So the first thing that a healthy organization needs is a vision and a mission. And I'll explain what the difference between those two is. So a mission talks about how we get to where we want to be. Where are we today? What is it that we're doing? How are we different? And what direction are we headed? Vision answers the question, what does the world look like once we have succeeded at achieving our mission? So for example, Nintendo's mission is to provide customers with a world of fun, and their vision is to create a world where everyone is a gamer. The second step in having a healthy organization is to create one with a strong company culture. And I'll explain the three things that are required in a strong company culture. Company culture is based on three things. Clarity of purpose, why are we doing what we do? Employee trust, do we trust each other? And continued learning, is the company investing in us? Number four in a healthy organization is creating a feedback loop. Employees are the first people that are going to recognize problems in the company, so it's important that they can give feedback. Number five is creating a clear decision-making process. Companies need to be flexible, and flexibility comes from a frictionless decision-making process. If you get paralyzed by endless debate, you won't be able to adapt. And the last point about creating a healthy organization is creating accountability, especially within the management level. Quarterly performance reviews for your employees is a given, even if it's not formalized. But doing this with your co-founders is critical to having a healthy organization, and it's really hard. So I just did my first Snap takeover, so you should really add this guy. He is a great uh, digital social marketer, uh, and he's also my cousin.